ladies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be playing with a brand new foundation. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you must have seen that I uploaded a picture of the Hourglass Foundation, Stick Foundation, and their concealer. So it's not a new product. Um, it's been on the market for a very while now, actually for a very long time. Um, but it's new to me, um, so I personally have not played with it, and I wanted to sit here and do this video for you guys. Everybody, seriously, raves about this foundation like literally everybody and then I saw the concealers and I was like ooh, I didn't know they had concealers because it's been a while that I've actually gone to Sephora um, and so I got the concealer too shout out to my friend who got me the gift card because I use my gift card for this purchase because it's a little pricey <laughs> hourglass I've actually already used their veil I think it's what's it called yeah their veil mineral mineral primer that stuff is amazing you guys I would always have that primer for just specifically just for my brides because it really allows your makeup to to stick and it also allows it to last a very long time um, so if you are a bride and you're gonna get married in the summer or springtime when it gets kind of warm Warm, definitely pick up that primer. I love it. Um, I haven't bought it in a very long time because I've been just so used to my Urban Decay one and my Too Faced. Um, and I'll be honest, the Hourglass primer is a little bit more on the expensive side. Like it's pretty spendy. But it's worth it if you constantly are doing brides um, in the summertime. So definitely check that out. Or if you're oily, you would really, really love that. Today I have a very long day. Um, it is currently 8.45 and I have a client at 10 a.m. Um, and I'm not gonna be done until 5.30 p.m. tonight. So I am able to wear this for a very long time for you guys, um, especially for any of you who do work a nine to five and you're trying to look for a brand new foundation. Hopefully this um, will do us good and it lasts all day. <laughs> um, so again, I do have combo, which just means that I am oily in my T-zone and in the rest on the perimeters of my um, face, I am more dry, especially around my chin area. So with a um, stick foundation, it's super important to make sure you have your skincare done first. So that's the first thing that I normally do every single morning is my skincare. So that's already taken care of, um, especially if you are more on the dry side. So that way stick foundations don't get stuck to your dry patches. For primer today, I'm going to go into my Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer, which is the one that I use all the time. You guys already know about this. Um, and I'm going to apply it all over my face because like I said, I do have um, combo skin. So I really want this foundation to last me. All freaking day there's people that don't wear primer and they have their foundation last all day too but for me I have to have a primer maybe that will change later on um, when the years go by but right now a girl has to have a primer <laughs> okay so I wanted to do this in two different ways so I wanted to do one side with a beauty blender and then on the other side with a makeup brush so that's exactly what I'm gonna do because I want to see um, what applies it better you know what i mean everybody does use this with a brush because it gives you more of a full coverage um so i'm really curious to see with a beauty um, blender let me go ahead and show you guys a clip of the foundation and concealer up close and give you guys some more information about these products so let's go ahead and jump into that clip right now let's begin with showing you guys the hourglass foundation so this is called the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick, which runs for $46. Um, it claims to be weightless, waterproof, long-lasting, and full coverage. Um, so I love the packaging. I think it's a really good size. It fits um, in my whole hand. Um, and when you twist, the product comes up. Um, and I feel like you can really get a good use of this foundation, to be honest. And I got um, the shade Linen. Going back to the size, I actually really like it because when you are traveling, it will fit in your makeup bag just perfectly without taking too much space. And next we have the Hourglass. This is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer, which runs for $34. This also claims to be full coverage, weightless, and waterproof. And it also um, blurs out and brightens up any imperfections and it can last up to 16 hours. I really love the applicator. I feel like aesthetically it looks really pretty and I'm really excited to slap this on. <laughs> Okay, so you guys already saw the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. It's definitely very aesthetically pleasing. It looks really expensive um, and it definitely will look really pretty like in your bathroom or in your makeup room. Um, so I've seen people just apply it like this. Um, I think I'm gonna do that for the beauty sponge. I think I'm gonna do that first and then 
with my brush, I'll just go in with the product. Let's see, I don't know, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and apply it. This side we're gonna do the um, side that I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty sponge or your beauty blender, whatever you prefer. Like how much product do you do you know that you need? You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay, moment of truth, let's see. With the sponge. So I've seen a lot of people just use the brush, um, so I guess we'll see. And I don't know if I applied a lot of product or not, to be honest. I've seen a lot of people who have acne actually really, really like this um, foundation on YouTube. I've seen a lot of people use this for that, and it covers up their acne really, really good. Um, maybe because it's a more of a thicker consistency, because it definitely feels thicker. That's just how stick foundations are though. They are more on the thicker side. So that was fast. I feel like with the beauty sponge, it applied it super quick actually. And it actually fit my skin tone pretty okay. Okay, you guys. So I actually do like it with the beauty sponge. That was really interesting. It applied it really fast and it actually did cover up my redness and my blemishes. So Let's go ahead and go into the brush. Um, and this is my Sigma Flat Kabuki, the F80. Of course, use code SANDY for 10% off at checkout. And see if, wow, okay. So I personally actually like this way a lot better because I get more control of how much product I want on my face versus when you just apply like a lot like that. I don't know. It feels very like velvety. Um, that's like the texture that I can, um, describe this for you guys it feels very smooth like it literally feels like i have like nothing on right now that is crazy and i feel like a little bit goes such a long way like it really is covering everything up wow all right you guys so i literally applied my foundation so fast i normally feel like i i take longer with my foundation when i use liquids they don't look bad though i really really liked how they both feel like it really doesn't feel like i have any foundation on which sounds really really weird but I really don't and it didn't grab to my dry patches but again remember skincare is super huge when it comes to that so let's move on to concealer I got the shade sepia so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this oh I like the applicator of this concealer you know what I'm noticing too that I don't have to go back in for more product I feel like this is like like, wow, it keeps coming down. Whoa. All right, guys, so you legit can just use this to apply concealer wherever you want, just one time and you don't have to double dip. That is crazy, that's crazy good. So I'm gonna go into my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna blend out this concealer. I'm not really doing like super fancy makeup today because I have to work, so I'm not gonna go in with a lot of product. Um, like cream contour is what I mean, sorry. I'm just gonna apply my concealer and then probably apply some bronzer, blush, and curl my lashes and lip balm and call it good. In my all oh, in my brows. Okay, you guys, so the concealer blended out really, really good and fast. Oh wow, I look expensive. <laughs> if you can see me in person or not, it looks really, really pretty. Like it looks soft. I don't know how to explain it. The concealer, you guys, so far so good. I really, really like it. Um, it's not, is it creasing? There is a little bit of creasing underneath my eyes, but nothing unbearable, like nothing at all. Nothing's cracking or lifting. It just looks really, really flawless. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face, apply my brows, a lip balm, and maybe add some lashes. I don't know yet. I don't wanna be too extra today. I guess we'll see in a couple of seconds for you guys, but in the next 10, 15 minutes, <laughs> I will be right back. All right, honeys, so I am back. I went ahead and just did something really simple because again, I'm going to work. Um, so after applying my powder and my bronzer and all that stuff, you guys, this looks freaking amazing. Really, really pretty. Um, like I said, it feels like I have no foundation on, which I still think is really weird. I'm like, am I being tricked here? Like. <laughs> I'm actually really, really happy with the results. Um, so again, I'm gonna be wearing this for the entire day. I'm not gonna touch up because I really wanna see how my skin reacts. Um, and then maybe I will touch up here at the end of the day and see what uh, if we can probably wear it for more hours. Um, so it's 9.14 a.m. And then I will probably check in in between my day and then I'll see you guys at the end of my day. So. 
Hi guys, so it is currently um, gonna be three. <laughs> it's gonna be three o'clock and I wanted to do a quick checkup for you guys. So with my foundation, it actually looks really good. Like it looks good. The only thing that I'm noticing though is that I'm starting to get oily in my nose and on my forehead. But I've noticed that that actually just started like not even that long ago. But my cheeks and everything else looks fine. Like it looks like it normally does. Um, so I would definitely say that I'm just oily in my nose and it's starting to crease a little bit like right here. As you guys can see here, I need Botox there. God. Um, there's a little creasing right here around my nose too. Like just a little bit, but not on this side. So not too bad to be honest for being on since like almost nine o'clock. Um, I've had this on for like what a good six hours and it just started to get oily so yeah. I'm actually not mad at it. I haven't used my mask either um, because I don't want to touch it and ruin it for you guys because then for sure this will go away. If this is oily right now with the mask it's gonna be completely gone. So I'm just chewing on mints and chicle but I know this my yara mis clientas. <laughs> I will see you guys in about three hours. All right, you guys, so I am officially back home. It is currently 5.48 p.m. So I put this foundation on like around what, like 8.45, almost nine o'clock. So this is what my face currently looks like. I look oily, I really, really do. <laughs> but I will say this though, that it actually doesn't look bad. I'm really curious to see how, um, once I do touch it up, I want to see if we can probably wear this out, you know, a little longer. Um, but overall, my forehead is really oily and it's shiny and so is just right here on my cheeks, but not on the outside portion of my face. And my chin's actually doing okay. Um, there is a little bit of cakiness, I feel like, on the chin as well as on the sides of my nose. Um, but I am noticing more cakiness on the right side where I used the brush. So the part where I used the beauty blender, honestly, I feel like I like it a little bit more than I do um, using the brush, which is really interesting because people, like I said in the beginning of my video, like to use this foundation with a brush. I personally feel like I would definitely be using this foundation with my beauty sponge. I grabbed some um, toilet paper. You can use um, tissue paper. I know that um, Fenty Beauty sells like those, what are they called? Like little wipes that you can just take out and like blot, uh, blotting tissue paper. <laughs> There you go, <laughs> that. <laughs> um, but normally when I'm like at restaurants or I'm at a quinceanera or a wedding, I use a napkin or just a tissue paper in the bathroom and I blot. I don't rub or go like this because you will take off your makeup. So what I like to do is just go like this and you can tell right there. On my nose especially, I feel like I have the most oils. Like it didn't move or lift it or separate it. I feel like it, still looks pretty good to be honest um now the next step that i like to do is just go in with some translucent powder and a more fluffy brush lightly just going to apply some even though i'm not going anywhere after this to be honest i'm just gonna wash some netflix and fold some laundry this is the way that i normally touch up when i'm like at las fiestas and all that good stuff. Right now that I applied my powder, you guys, I can definitely get away with wearing this for a couple of more hours. I think I would be totally okay. After blotting, definitely look at all this <laughs> oils right here. But overall, in general, I feel like the foundation didn't move and it didn't lift um, and come off with the tissue paper or my toilet paper. Um, so I feel like I can definitely wear this for a couple of more hours and still be okay. So remember, I've worn this since like around 9 a.m. and right now it's gonna be six. So I wore, I wore this foundation for the entire day for you guys, for my entire day, and it still looks really good after blotting and touching up. So if you definitely wanna wear this foundation, um, if you're working and you work a nine hour shift, then I, I definitely would say give it a try. Um, if you are oily, I feel like you would probably have to have like a, a powder with you um, at work just in case if you need to blot and touch up um, but I'm combo again so for me the only areas that were really oily was my t-zone um, the concealer I love it I feel like it looks really good still I feel like I still look alive and I don't look dead you know what I mean normally by this time I'm so well I am tired but 
I don't know, I feel like the foundation and the concealer really hold up, hold it up really well. Um, and it still looks really good, so. And with that said, you guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, share and subscribe and hit that little notification bell, which does notify you every time that I upload a brand new video here on YouTube. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Besitos, los quiero mucho, and I'll see you soon. Bye!